this is the FL Sun S1 Pro, a fast, large, and efficient 3D printing machine. With this model, FL Sun continues its focus on high speed and large build volume. Today, we'll be reviewing the FL Sun S1 Pro, the next generation on the S1 line. We'll be highlighting the improvements between the S1 and the S1 Pro reviewing the specs and features, and putting it to the test with a wide range of materials and designs, so you can decide if the S1 Pro is right for you. So, let's get started! Welcome back to Space Age Tech, where we look at the tech that pushes the limits. First, we'll do a quick unboxing. Inside, we have our service policy, manual, our power cord, consumables, some accessories, and our screen module. On the bottom compartment, we have the S1 Pro. We were happy to see that there was going to be little assembly since the machine is almost all put together. The trickiest part is installing the glass doors. This come in a separate package which is secured inside of the printer. But overall, it's a pretty easy setup process, perhaps as close as you can get it to plug and play for a machine this size. Luckily, it's only a few steps to install the doors and then you're ready to get started. The S1 has some very high quality features such as the all metal frame, the high performance linear rails and high strength carbon fiber arms. Since this is a very large machine, we definitely took care in handling it gently to avoid any damage. The machine weigh itself is 41 kilograms, so about 90 pounds, and with the packaging is even heavier. So consider having a friend help you carry. We love that even though this is a large machine, the rectangular design allows you to place it in a corner in your desk, reducing any wasted space. As far as looks, it's easy on the eyes with this clean metallic design with frosted glass doors. The top section is our filament dryer box, and on the bottom we have our screen module which we installed as part of the setup. The overall dimensions are 21.65 inches long, 23.42 inches wide, and 40 inches tall. This is a Delta style printer, and in general, these are at least twice as tall as the print area because we need the space for the printer arms. So it doesn't necessarily take up a whole lot of desk space, but it is going to be pretty tall and the size allows for a very big build volume of 12.6 inch diameter and 16.93 inches tall. But not only does it have a big build volume, it can go really, really fast. So let's put it to the test. The first step before printing is running our calibrations. So here we run the motor calibration, vibration compensation, and bed leveling in that order. Since this is a super fast machine, it's extremely important to run these calibrations to ensure the machine is well aligned. One of the upgraded features from the S1 is the leveling solution to enhance precision and achieve excellent first layer results. And we'll be easily able to observe this throughout our test. We use the filament provided to run our first test. This is a PLA HS filament from FL Sun and it's specifically designed for high-speed machines. We will be testing other filaments throughout the video and putting links in the description if you're interested, but this is a great start. This is where the dryer box comes into play. A nice feature here is that we have a desiccant compartment box so you can maintain your filament at a low humidity environment. To load the filament, we pushed it through the right side of the filament dryer box, passed it through the filament detector and the filament clogging detector, and pushed the filament down into the effector until the filament cannot move forward. Then it will start to heat up. 
After we're done loading our filament, you will be able to see on the upper right hand side of your screen the percentage of filament left. So you'll know exactly how much you have left over and when you have to change it. We'll continue by setting up our filament dryer to the optimal temperature and start loading our filament. The default load temperature is 240 degrees Celsius, but the max hot end temperature can go all the way up to 350 degrees Celsius. And this very much depends on the material you're using. Let's take a closer look at the control panel. We can easily navigate the different modes and monitor the printer. It's a very intuitive multi-tab design that allows you to make even minor adjustments on the machine itself. Additionally, you can download the FL Sun World app from the App Store and you can use it as a control as well. We won't be doing that in this review, but we just want to let you know that it's something that's out there and you can use. Aside from the automatic bed leveling, filament drying, and filament detection, we have other intelligent features designed to make the best of your printer. We have a clock sensor and a power off resume. So in case of a power outage, the printer can resume that print once it boots back up, saving you time and money. There's even some more experimental features like debris and spaghetti detection. These will stop the machine if it detects a foreign object or if you're getting a spaghetti effect on your print. Both these features are very helpful in preventing wasted materials. We've gone through almost the whole menu. This is pretty intuitive and easy to do. Now let's find our models. Here we can see all the models currently loaded into the machine. Aside from seeing the list, you can also see a preview of the file and select it for printing. Now we're truly ready to get started. We'll do a few models with different materials and we'll go in depth into the specs and features of the S1 Pro. The Benchy promises to be an 8 minute job, which is phenomenal, so we'll keep an eye on the time elapsed under the percentage completed on this display. Max speed for the S1 Pro is 1200 millimeters per second, so that's absolutely incredible. Printing speed can be impacted by a lot of different factors, like how many layers you have, the material you're using, or just simply the complexity of your design. But in all of our experience in additive manufacturing and 3D printing, we can say with 100% certainty that eight minutes for a Benchy is super fast. So it printed really fast, but is this a good print? This is excellent for a first print. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. We wanted to visualize how big of a print we could actually make, so we made this cylinder to take up the maximum amount of space. This is actually a little smaller than the maximum height because to do that we would have to make the top a little bit more of a cone shape. As a reminder, the maximum diameter is 12.6 inches and height 16.93 inches. We got some very big, clean, beautiful results. This is a crystal dice tower in matte PLA and it's by color blue and white from Arion. We wanted to see if we can use other non-FL Sun filaments with this printer. FL Sun has been actively working on improving the closed loop motor algorithms, slicing algorithms, fan cooling, the precision, surface smoothness, and performance of the printer parts, which really explains the results we're getting so far. For our next test, we made a spiral base using Strong Heroes Blue Crystal PETG. The printer's hot end can go as high as 350 degrees Celsius, which makes it compatible with a wide range of materials, from PLA to ABS, PET, and even carbon fiber reinforced PLA. For our next test, we're doing a topographical replica of the moon 
We're using PLA from Everyone. This is matte by color black and white. We're hoping to get a shadowy effect on the as far as noise goes, the S1 Pro employs a high airflow silent fan with quiet operation maintained even during high speed printing. This is an improvement over the S1. It's not necessarily quiet, but you won't go crazy. Our next test is an articulated dragon model. We're using FlashForge PETG in burnt titanium. The settings for this were random seams which resulted in these bumps throughout the print. And because we're able to print this that much faster, we can catch errors and correct them much faster as well, making this a great printer for prototyping. Aside from that, we love the color of this filament. Let's try a different dragon. This time we're using Elegoo Clear PETG. This is not necessarily the ideal color for this model, it doesn't let all the details come through, and we did get some fuzzies. The machine has been very stable, and we've had no fails, so we're keeping our fingers crossed. For our next print, we chose an airless ball with the Overture Black TPU. This material is much softer and flexible, so temperature control is essential to get good prints. This can be challenging for a lot of 3D printers. Lucky for us, this print came out perfect and we're ready to play. So far, we're really liking this machine along with this bicolor filaments. We'll try a few more models with different colors. This time, we'll try a hand castle with Arion's matte bicolor blue yellow PLA. This print came out okay. It seems the filament was not completely dry, so we are seeing some imperfections. We don't attribute this to the S1 Pro, rather to the filament itself. To continue with this bicolor PLA, we have the Arion Matte PLA in teal and orange. We're making an elven fabric armor, something pretty awesome with tons of cosplay potential. This print came out great, we love the result. And in the close-up you can see all the details in each of the scales. We also made this dragon planter with the Arion Matte PLA, this time in bicolor rose and green. Again, some pretty solid results, we really like the way the color shifts in each of the scales. From here on out, we tried some of the stock models that come saved in the printer. All of these are made with the FL Sun HSPLA. Overall, we had some pretty good results with the other materials, but this one is specifically designed to withstand the high speed. It also helps that the S1 Pro has a smart sewn heated bed. This adjusts the heated area to the size of the print which actually makes it more precise and efficient. Our castle can definitely vouch for it. Next, we try a Viking model, the same material and the same wonderful results. And you know, so far we've made a lot of prints, but we haven't really talked about an important topic, safety. When it comes to safety, aside from being fully enclosed, the S1 Pro comes with a HEPA plus activated carbon filter. This helps remove harmful particles and volatile organic compounds emitted during the printing process. This is especially important when you're using materials like ABS and nylon. Just remember, always safety first. Filters can be replaced every two months or so depending on usage. So far, all of the stock models came out great which is not very surprising given that these are optimized for the machine and given the quality we're getting out of the S1 Pro. This small print is also our most technically challenging print. We're making a carabiner in Polymaker's Polycarbonate Black. So yes, it can print in polycarbonate without a problem. This is a challenging material because it requires a higher temperature. But, awesomely enough, we were able to produce a flawless print in polycarbonate, 
This is a fully functioning carabiner. So we saved a super nice feature for last, the internal time-lapse camera. Here you can see all of our prints being masterfully made. The camera allows you to save time lapses like this or just monitor your print so you don't have to be glued to your machine. The camera resolution is not listed, but as you can see here, we're getting some pretty good footage of all of our prints. So what did you think? We'd like to hear from you in the comments. We had such fun time working with the FL Sun S1 Pro and feel this is a pretty solid machine. We were waiting for fails, but aside from some small design and filament defects, we didn't really experience that. We had high expectations for this printer and we were not let down. The S1 Pro does everything that it's promising right out of the box. You can see it in the different types of materials, the speed, and the smooth operation. Design-wise, it's a very sleek looking machine. Large, but with a smaller than expected footprint. We feel this is a perfect machine for larger models, producing prints in batches and cranking out prototypes. We're definitely rooting for FL Sun in its mission to make fast, reliable machines. So, are you ready to get yours? Check the links in the description. We'll be reviewing this and other amazing technology in our upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow.